Welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangout. <clears throat> if you're new here, I'm Jen and I'm so glad you're here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment. Say, hey, how's it going? Um, and if you're returning, I love you guys so, so much. You know that. Okay, so what do we got going on today? Well, I've been promising this for a long time now. <laughs> That we would be doing a lip test and um, declutter. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully, I've got you guys in a good enough position that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So we're going to start right here on my desk. I keep this right here with different i mean it's got like my tools and stuff in here but it's very dusty i guess i need to grab some some wipes clean things off with so um don't you hate it when you get all the way down to the bottom of the wipes tub and they all fall down <laughs> at least mine always do or seem to rather oh come on okay so grab that it's just a Lysol wipe and I have a tissue here and I've got some makeup remover wipes that apparently the top came off of I love these wipes these are the ones from they're Beauty Creation Skin and they're watermelon. They smell delicious. Anyway, okay, so let's get into this. I'm going to, um, some things I know are fine and others, others I may or may not swatch because I haven't used some of them, but I'm going to be smelling a lot of them because, well... As we know, they can get a little funky. So, I'm going to clean this off. This is one of the Fenty ones. And I'm going to do this in a couple different parts. So this will be a whatever Wednesday. So it will be this Wednesday and at least the following Wednesday. Um, I don't know. This is the shade. i got to get my magnifying glass so I can read it. <sighs> Ooh, my magnifying glass is filthy. Um, this is the shade Thick, and this is what she looks like. That's a beautiful shade. And if she don't smell funky, which she don't, we're going to keep that one. Because I really like that. But I do, however, <laughs> need to clean off my magnifying glass. I can't see squat out of it. That was rather bad. And some of these, you cannot read anything at all. Okay, so there. That's better. Okay, so I have these four LA colors. I have more of these, I think. I got sent these by Susan's Just Making It. I think I have them in the car is where they are. Um, and she sent me a whole selection of these and they're absolutely beautiful. Nice doe fit. And they still smell good. Here you go. I'm trying to figure out the best place for swatches. So I'm going to keep this one. These are all super duper cute. And yeah, they still smell good. And then, like I said, they're just a shimmery gloss that I'm trying to get all over myself. This one, I think, is more of a lip color. So it's going to be a little bit more opaque. Yeah. But very nice. Very my color, you know. You guys know I'm very much into the <clears throat> those purple mauves. Purple toned, blue toned mauves. Yeah, these are all still really good. 
But what has spurred this is that I went to use an e.l.f. lip crayon that I don't, I didn't think I had had it for that long. And ended up, um, it smelled so much of crayon, it was horrible. Okay, so, get that all cleaned off. Okay, so I have a bunch of Gerard Cosmetics here. I have more Gerard Cosmetics. This is a Vin Vincenior Matte. I think I got this one in an ice cream beauty box. This is eh, it smells all right, but there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I don't know what shade it's in, but. Okay, so I have these Gerards, these four here, and then I have a bunch of lip glosses we'll get into here in a little bit. And then I have some brand new ones that I just got. This is the Hydromat in Ecstasy. Now this is my quintessential purple mauve color. That is my jam. And it is still good. Good. Because I love this color. So pretty. I'm flipping them upside down so I know what they are. This one doesn't have a label on it, but I'm pretty sure, I want to say this one's like Melrose Place. Oh, and I think she's bad. That sucks. Yeah, she's bad. That is a bummer because this is a beautiful color. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. So, she gown. She gown, she gown, she gown. <clears throat> this one is a metal mat in underworld and it's still good i think yeah it's still good that's what that one looks like and it is so beautiful so so pretty and this one is a metal mat and it's complicated <clears throat> i think i just got this one not that long ago and it's still good. That's a beautiful, that's like, that's like the 90s color. I think I had a bunch of lipsticks when I was in high school with that. Okay, so then we have a Maybelline Color Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade. I know it's here somewhere. On the top. Change is good. And this one is still good. I love these. They last so long. Perfect color. Okay. This one is Topanga. I have two of these. I have one in the car that I keep in the car. And then it's still good. But this is ColourPop Color Sticks. It's lippy Sticks, that's what they're called. This one is in Slacker. And it's still good. Really beautiful. This one is in Day Trip. <clears throat> And it's still good. This is like an orangey red, I think. Yeah, very pretty though. And then this one is in... Who Run This? And it's still good. And that's more of a brick. I would call that a brick color. 
very pretty. Okay, these two, um, they are like color correctors, you know. This is a dark circle corrector. And this is a smudge eraser stick. Both of these are fairly new. Ooh, but that one's funky. So the Mally one is going bye-bye. And then this is another super stay in Hustle in Heels, which is a beautiful red. Beautiful red. I mean, thank you, ma'am. That's a pretty one. And then this is another super stay in Seek Adventure. <clears throat> and this is another beautiful pinky mauve. So there's those. So I have two, looks like two spaces here that we've cleaned out. So that's cool. And I'm going to get this cleaned up and then bring down some more. Okay, so I have, these are all the ones that are on my table all the time. So, I have um, Gerard Cosmetics, some Oddball ones, all of my minis, and then my matte Superstay inks. So, we're going to go with the Superstay inks first. Avalanche, hold on. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start with the matte super stay inks. I have six of them. This one is in the shade 175. Um ring ringleader. I hope you guys can see this. I moved the camera. I thought maybe it would work a little better. This is still good, which is good because I love this one. These suckers stay on forever. Um, Rhonda from Rhonda Set got me hooked on these. This is 130 Self Starter. This one's a little bit more pink. And it is still good. Which is wonderful because I love this colors. I need to use these more often. This one is 15 Lover. They are beautiful. And they have, like, can you tell I like a very similar shade? They have a really nice doe foot, which I really like. So. And then this one is Pioneer. Which is a gorgeous red. And these actually stay on your lips. So, this one I don't use hardly ever. This one is Inspirer. It is a much more vibrant pink. And it's still good. But yeah, it's a much more pinky pink and I don't wear that very often and then this one is a ruler this one's probably my favorite out of those ones I wear the crayons the most we'll put it right here but I really enjoy this and you can get all of these same colors in the crayon the crayons are like 16 hour these I think are like 18 so that's those. Then I have these over here. Um, these are my Lele Posh. And this one I am almost guaranteed is no good. <laughs> I have no idea what the names are. I think this one's Montana Sky or something like that. Or this one is. I don't know. I'm going to try and mix this one up. As best I can. Oh yeah, she's funky. 
that's the color yeah this one's kaput no good then like i said i think this one's like montana sky or something and it's no good it's a really pretty lip gloss color if she still got them and like i said i have no idea these are yeah they're all gonna be old but she didn't put names on any of them so i have no idea what they are which is a bummer because some of them i'd like to reorder because they're beautiful shades but yeah they're all they're all no good so there's that one maybe you guys can match them up and tell me what they are get these wiped off and we'll start with another batch okay let's go ahead and do these three um oddballs here this one is the infamous gloss from city lips uh this was sent to me from alice i love this stuff it is a lip plumper but it's not one of those burn your lips off heck let's just make a mess and this one is still good but it has just a really nice kind of clear sheen so that one ain't going nowhere this one is um, Shayna B in the shade Bestios. I just got this one not that long ago. So it's still good. Really nice. Just kind of a neutral gloss. Again, really enjoy that one. Hence why it's still on my desk. This one is from uh, Vampire Cosmetics, which I have a code for. I believe it's Jen's Hangout. I can't can't remember. It is always listed and linked down below. Their, their stuff is really, really good. I enjoy it. But this is the shade Pink Champagne. It's still good. Obviously, I just got it. Again, with the purple mauve. <laughs> that is my jam. It is, it is, my jam. What can I say? Um, let me get this mess cleaned up. Okay, so we have my minis here. I have a set of four minis from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And they're all in different shades. This one. This one is Stargazer. And it is a beautiful, like orangey red color orangey pink pink fuchsia fuchsia and it is still good pink fuchsia so i'm sure these are on the abh website uh this one is cotton candy and she's a pink she's that real bright cotton candy pink like you would expect it's still good new funky crayon smell this is plumeria and it is a, i love this color i keep this one in the car because it is such a good color it's that vampy purple color and it's just beautiful because it's a really good neutral eye this is orchid in a matte these are matte lipsticks by the way I love this one too this is that purple I broke it so it's really wobbly but again still good oh no go back down thank you yeah I broke that one because I pushed a little too hard but I really enjoy that one a lot it's a good one that one in the plumeria I keep in the car pretty all the time <laughs> this one is a Guerlain in kiss kiss I got this as a sample and it is it's a really pretty orange and it is like orange at least I consider an orange but it's more of a balm so you can wear this one really you could sheer it out really well so that is 
that one. And then this is the Dior Lip Plumper. And she's minty, minty fresh. Put it over my burn, so it's going to burn like crazy. Um, but this one I love. It just has a real slight pink hint. And this one is the Lip Dior Attic Lip M Lip Ma Maximizer. I can talk in zero zero one. If you're curious, this is a real Hermini in the shade Girl Power. Again, I love the purple mauves. So I'm gonna put this one right here. You know, those cool tone mauves, they really are probably my all time favorite out of anything else. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, Pillow Talk. This is a regular Pillow Talk, not the medium. I couldn't remember if I got the medium one or not. But this is the true Pillow Talk. So there you go. I love that one too. I keep that one in my purse a lot of the time. This is a Bare Minerals. I got this one and I'm actually wearing it today. Honesty, it's so good. It's so pretty. It's just that really beautiful, your lips but better. So, so pretty. This is a YSL in oh by Atlanta I have no idea it's a full string of numbers it just says rouge lipstick so I have no clue what color it is it's an orangey red though that's the color and again it's a balmy it's a much more balmy formula, so you, you don't you can shear it out really easily. And then this one is Bite Beauty, and I believe they don't exist anymore. But it's in Sour Cherry, and it's so pretty. I don't even think I've used it. I think I've swatched it as I get it on my nose. And it's still good, too. Isn't that such a beautiful red? So pretty. I almost wore that, too. Okay, so, so sorry about that. I'm going to have to, I'll edit that out. This is um, the only different one, really. These are my Gerard Cosmetics. This is just a regular matte, I believe, or not a matte. This is a Hydro Supreme Lip Cream in Wild Berry Tart. I think I just got this one. Can't remember. Oh, no. She no good. But this is what she looks like. Beautiful color. So that one's good to go. I can't remember what I just got and what I haven't. These two are metal mats. Yeah. And this one is a Hydromat in Aphrodite. This is Hydromat in Aphrodite. Oh yeah, she's no good. But that's what that one, that's a real nude. So, and then this one is Rupee. Don't I just have this one? Oh, nope, I don't. So, oh, but she's no good. But that's what she looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? But yeah, she's no good. Getting that funky smell. And then this one is in Cherry Balm. These are metal mats. Yeah, and that one's no good too, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to have to reorder those two because I love them. And then same with that one. Absolutely stunning. Okay, and then these are these Supreme Glosses. And I love this formula and I love what they do. So we'll see if it works. But this is a DM me. This one I just got. I don't know if you guys saw that unboxing or not. But that's what she looks like. Isn't it beautiful? That's going to look stunning 
over like this one. So pretty. So, so pretty. So we'll be keeping that one for sure. This one is in Candy Apple. They're supposed to light up. I got like three of these and none of them lit up. But this one is no good anymore. But that's what it looks like. It's a beautiful, very opaque gloss. This one was one of my favorites. And this is Divalicious. See what they do. And they have a real mirror. Oh, and it's no good too. But again, with that purple mauve color. So I have a feeling most of these are going to be no good. Uh, this one was one of the collabs she did with Lyrica Anderson. This is in James. It's a beautiful purple color. And yeah, it's just now starting to turn because it still has half original smell and half not. <sighs> this one was my all-time favorite and this one I know. This is Pouty Princess, so this one I will be reordering. Yeah, because it's no good. But it's like the gloss. I think this is a good dupe for um, Fenty's, what is it, Fussy? This is Summer Sun. This one's still good, yay. I like this one, it's kind of a salmon color. So three down three or four down that's a bummer but okie dokie so let me grab some more now we are on to the ones that I always have behind me which are my Max and some odd ones I think I'm going to do all the Jeffree Stars at the end so let me get this cleaned off and I'll be right back okay so we're going to start off with, I have two from Unicorn Cosmetics, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, these ones are not labeled. I know one of them was cinnamon, and I can't remember the other one. I cannot keep this thing on my table to save my life today. But this is one of them, and it's still good. I just used these not that long ago. That's what she looks like. So that one's going to be staying. And then here's the other one. I love her formula. It is a wonderful formula. And as you can tell, those are both very much my colors. Okay, so this is an NYC bullet lipstick in a red hot. I've wiped my hand off so many times it itches like crazy. So this is a very much red and it is still good, but it's a really pretty red and it, again, it's in that more, much more hydrating formula. So it's not anything like a matte. This is uh, Nocturnal Rose 700. This is a Maybelline. Very, very, very much my color. I love it. And she's still good. Very beautiful mauve rose color. Okay, this one is a... I think it's a complex culture. Yeah, complex culture in the shade... Uh, Legend. This is their Pout Clout. Have I even swatched that? Yes, I have. Oh! She is not still good, but that is the color. Very beautiful color, but no good. No good. Okay, this is a Kylie in passion cream very much so good again lots of purple mobs can you tell that's my fave 
for sure. Okay, this one is a melt. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I can't even tell what it is. I don't think it says anymore. Oh, no, it does. Why would they do pink on white? Or white on pink? I think it says Daddy? Zaddy? Zaddy, I think. I think that's what it is. But it is a nude, nude, nude. Is it still good? Yeah, it's still good. But very nude color, but pretty. And then there's these two. This is another melt. This is Ama Jamelia. This is from the Mariposa collection. I mean, look at that. Isn't that absolutely a gorgeous component? So, this is what she looks like. I don't even think I've swatched it. Pretty sure I haven't. It's still good. That's what she looks like. Kind of that bubblegum pink color. Very pretty, though. And a magnetic closure. This is Besame C208 in Besame Red. That is what she looks like. Still good. That is a classic like 1930s, 1940s red. Love this. So pretty. This is a KVD in Lovecraft. I wear this one often. It is totally my jam. That gray um, purple moth. This is Lorella in Scandal. Still good. And it's more of a lip gloss. And it's really beautiful. It's not a sticky formula either. This is Dose of Colors Date Night. Still good. And it is a gorgeous formula as well. It's more of a lip stain than anything. At least that's what I would call it. Okay, now I'm going to get into my max, and then that will be the end of the video. By the way, if you're curious about the Unicorn Cosmetics, this is the Unicorn Cosmetics not wanting to come off. It dries down. But it's almost, um, it's not an uncomfortable matte, but it kind of feels like your lips are peeling off sometimes. So, that is... The formula it stays it does not budge she's gotten it down pat oh this is a beauty creations this is the Luis Torres the first collab that he did and this is in keep it classy and it's so good this is very much a nude very much a brown nude color this is, okay, now we're on to the max. This is in 524 Syrup. S Ooh. No, it's still okay. It's getting close, though. But that's what it looks like. It's gorgeous. I think this is, in, this is their Luster formula. Yeah, Luster lipstick. Okay, this one is... Coral. It's on the edge. It's a very, it looks brown in there, but it's not. It's kind of a purple brown, well, purple new, purple brown. I think I have two of these, honestly. This is Frost. Very beautiful color. I don't know if you can still get it. They discontinue a lot of their colors, but very beautiful color.
This one I know you can't get anymore. And it is one of my favorites, and thank God it's not kaput. This is hot and bothered. It is a beautiful nude pink. And it's not showing up nude pink, but it is beautiful nude pink. And as you can tell, I've used the heck out of it. I mean, who has a funky tip like that? <laughs> uh, anyway, this is Sweet, Sec Sweet Sakura. And it's still good. And it's kind of an orangey, fiery red. Super fly, can go away. It's still good. This is Red Rock, which is a great red lipstick. Not as like a true red. I love that one. I don't have the Ruby Woo, though. Maybe one of these days. This is a Crosswire. Another great color. I need to wear these more often. I always forget. They're sitting behind me. So I shouldn't wear them. I don't really have a, an excuse. This is on hold. This is kind of that brown red. Brick red. But it's that cream formula. So it's really comfortable to wear. Then last but not least. This is Vegas Vault. And that's what that one looks like. So those are all the MAC lipsticks that I have. Let me know what you guys think down below. And we will be back with part two. And trust me, it's a lot. I mean, a lot. So we'll be back. <laughs>